What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to tell you why mining Chia right now might be the worst decision you can possibly make in 2021. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So good to see you back. My name is Seth Estrada, and I appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Your support really does mean the world to me. So Chia mining, what is it? Is it like storage? Is it like IPFS, Filecoin? Is it like some other kind of hard drive mining system we've seen before? Well, yes, no, and yeah, okay, yeah, really it kind of is. It's just hard drive mining. By any other name, you're offering proof of the capacity of your hard drives to this network, and then they use that for consensus for a given coin. Let me jump out of the way here and show you the tool that I used when I first started, the Chia calculator. And this, by the way, wasn't even what changed my mind. This just kind of get, got me started and let me know what my opportunities were. But Chia calculator available at chiacalculator.com. There's a link down in the description so you can use this tool yourself if you haven't already. But Chia calculator allows you to start from zero, which everybody would start with if they were just starting with Chia mining or Chia farming, uh, all the way up to the number of plots that you may already have going. But here's the dirty little secret. When you see people use this calculator online and in their videos, they're starting incorrectly. They're starting as though everything is already plotted and that's not accurate. Let me tell you exactly what I mean and exactly how to use this tool for you to properly understand whether or not it's worth it for you to get started today. First off, you must start with zero and you can't leave it in the simplified mode. Otherwise, you'll never really know how long it'll take for you to catch up and plot your different hard drives and contribute to the Chia network. Once you go to advanced, then you'll be able to see the opportunity. Now with simplified, I could just tell it, yeah, I've got, uh, I just bought three of these 12 terabyte hard drives. So I've got 36 terabytes that I'm going to contribute. And that means that in about 24 days, I'll win a block. And that means that in every month, I'm going to earn about 2,620 bucks. Unfortunately, that's not true. That presupposes that you've got all 36 terabytes already plotted and nobody already has them already plotted. You'd have to have that done first. So we're going to go back to zero plots, zero, go back to the advanced tab. And now we're going to start with zero here as well, and then tell it that we've got a plotting speed of about 2.3 terabytes per day. How did I come to that number, 2.3 terabytes of plotting per day? Well, I did the math of figuring out roughly the fastest possible plotting speed you could achieve, which right now is about three hours per plot for an average contributor to the network. And then plotting in parallel, meaning three plots that are going in parallel at that speed. So you're doing about one plot per hour and about 24 plots every day. So that's how I got that number. Now, if you think that you know better or you're able to do a much faster speed than that, then you use that speed on this calculator. Please don't tell everybody that they're all wrong in the comment section because a lot of people have been doing this and a lot of people have been moving even slower than that. I'll tell you that for my experiment, I found that I was able to plot at a rate of about one plot for every nine hours because I didn't use a fast SSD, even though I had server grade CPUs and 32 gigs of RAM in my plotting system. It just wasn't fast enough to be competitive. So I'm talking about people who are really intensely optimizing, maybe even using really fast NVMe drives in RAID in order to do their plotting. They're, they're, they're pulling out all the stops to try to be competitive here. So just so you know, even what I've got here is faster than average. So 2.3 terabytes plotted per day, all the way up to your 36 terabytes that you may have earmarked to contribute. Now right there, that orange line is going to be what you contribute to the network. Not bad, but it's linear, right? That plotting rate is going to bring you up to 36 terabytes at a rate of 2.3 per day. So a little over two weeks right here to get to that point. And then you will have, uh, you'll be competing against the, uh, the network growing at a specific rate. Now, let me tell you the sad tale of how I encountered the Chia network. This is the biggest reason that I decided that Chia mining might not be the best use of my time right now. When I first took a look at the Chia network after seeing some videos from great creators like Son of a Tech and others who said, you know what, I'm going to try it. Why not? Uh, I looked at the network and it was still below 500 petabytes. Now, what is a petabyte? If you're not familiar with this, right? If you're just looking at these stories, storage terms and thinking, uh, you know, I've dealt with desktop hard drives. I know what a terabyte is. I think I know what a terabyte is. Well, let's start at the beginning. There's a byte. There's a kilobyte. There's a megabyte. And all of these are a thousand of the last one, right? 
Byte, kilo, 1,000 bytes. Mega, 1,000 kilobytes. Giga, 1,000 megabytes. Peta, sorry, terabyte, is 1,000 gigabytes. And then a petabyte is 1,000 terabytes. And an exabyte, which just sounds huge, is 1,000 petabytes. When I looked at the Chia network, it was only about 500 petabytes, which is already a lot, right? That's far more than I could than I could just get in my, you know, my studio here with consumer drives. It would take me a while to build up to that. It'd be very difficult to do. But an exabyte is huge. It's a thousand times bigger than that. It's a lot. It's really a lot of storage. When I first looked at it, it was 500 petabytes. And now it's at 3.8 exabytes, almost eight times bigger than when I first looked at it. And when I first noticed that it was growing exponentially about three days later when I looked at it and realized it's over an exabyte now. It had doubled in about three days when I first looked at it. And then it doubled in about another three days. The current rate of expansion for the Chia network is very fast. And when you look at this calculator, what it tells you as a default is that it's only going to grow about 15% per week. That's not true. Plain and simple, just not true. I personally observed it move much faster than that. So let's take a look at what maybe would be a realistic expectation here. And uh, let's let's say maybe it won't go 100% every week. I mean, if it's truly every three days that it doubles, it would actually be more like 200% every single week that it grows. But let's just say it's 50% every single week, and that it's only moving at that rate for about 90 days. Now, stabilized daily growth, uh, I, I don't even know that I can definitely put an, uh, an amount there. Oh, and what comes after exabyte, by the way, is a zettabyte. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we don't see that soon. All right, so even at this rate, this really, really slow rate, at 50% growth at the current rate with 36 terabytes, if you are lucky enough from solo mining to actually get a block reward, you might get just under one coin in six months. Six months of leaving your hard drives on and maybe one coin because you're solo mining. Are there good pools out yet? No, not yet. Hopefully that does change, but that hasn't happened yet. So there's no way to pool this and improve your odds of winning a block yet. When that happens, who knows? This might change quite a bit, but that's the advanced tab, guys. This is more realistic, and this is why I didn't get started. Uh, when you actually use the advanced properties of the calculator to figure out, starting from zero, which everybody does, figure out how long it will take you to get up to speed, and then figure out how much faster the network is growing than your, you know, your three external hard drives or your five external hard drives, or gosh, even 250 terabytes or more. Maybe you've got a full petabyte at your disposal. I still don't know how competitive you're going to be here based on plotting rate and trying to catch up. Guys, that's the basis of why I made this video. I think I've pretty much got it dialed in here about a half a year of stabilization after three months of really, really fast growth because I think we've got more growth ahead of us in the Chia network. If hard drive sales are any indication, then there's probably going to be a lot more growth ahead. It's not over yet. So I think this, this is realistic. You guys tell me down in the comment section, though. Does this make sense to you? Um, and after six months, a thousand bucks, well... I, let's take a look at the costs, yeah? Farther down, those storage costs, that would be two hard drives. And that's not quite accurate, actually. Let's do this. 36 tibabytes and... Oh, wow, it's not <laughs> it's not figuring it out. Okay, 36 tibabytes throws that way up higher. And it... Okay, it doesn't actually change this just yet. So the recommended is not really what we're going to be doing here. That's, what? Oh, this is crazy. Please just... Please just work. Okay, so for the plotting system right here, it says it's going to cost you over a grand. If you're a system builder, you might not spend a grand on this plotting system, but they make a good case here. The plotting system itself is going to be some kind of an Intel NUC or small form factor device with an SSD for the operating system and a separate SSD just for plotting of like two terabytes, which should get you an even faster plotting rate. And then lots of RAM, lots and lots of RAM. You'll notice they're not skimping on the RAM here, 32 gigabytes of RAM. They're, they're recommending that that for a reason. And then the hard drives themselves, right? Costing hundreds each all the way down to uh, the most granular level, almost 20 bucks per terabyte of, uh, of storage, almost roughly. And so, uh, yeah, right there, two drives plus that system over two grand 
to earn maybe a grand and a half after six months if you started with 36 terabytes. Even if you started with 36 terabytes fully plotted today, you wouldn't earn that money back from that system. So that's that's even if you started today hitting the ground running, again, you're not going to hit the ground running. You're going to hit the ground uh, at zero, like everybody else, at zero. Um, let's go ahead and increase that all the way up to 100 terabytes at that same rate. You're still going to earn about the same. Let's go up to... 250 terabytes at that same rate, you're still not going to hit two grand. You see how the problem is here? It's a problem of trying to race an exponential growth. So starting today, the only way that you're going to be able to outdo it is in a much faster plotting speed. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope that that was interesting. I hope it helped somebody figure out a little bit better how to plan their purchases for Chia mining or Chia farming. If they do decide they're going to do Chia farming, are you doing Chia farming? Do you think you're competitive what do you think is a competitive advantage in chia farming tell us down in the comment section guys thanks again for watching all the way to the end of the video your support means so much thanks for sharing the channel anything you can do to share is awesome we are probably not getting the most love from youtube these days but no problem i still wanted to bring this to you and let you know how much i miss you guys and how much i want to bring you awesome content let me know what you like me to cover next down in the comment section and i will see you and your lovely face in the next one Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you want to be notified of videos like this in the future, first off, click subscribe, press the bell icon. Additionally, you can sign up for the Mind Your Biz email newsletter. That'll give you exclusive access to certain freebies, notifications for deals within the cryptocurrency mining space, as well as some of our flash sales for merchandise, which you can buy with cryptocurrency. That's right. It's the only cryptocurrency merch that you can buy with cryptocurrency. We practice what we preach. As always, thank you so much for watching. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face, and I will see you in the next one.